Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy Dubs coming to you guys tonight or this morning, or whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day, night, early morning, because that's probably when this video is going to come out. Today, we are going to be, or tonight, when, whatever, this morning, we are going to be looking at the brand new OST, or it's either OST or OTS 9 SMG in Black Ops Cold War. So let's do it. We're going we're gonna to look at it, we're going to use it, and we're going to sniff it you know all that all that good jazz so i hope you guys do enjoy and i'm just gonna talk a little bit this won't be a really long video honestly it'll just be probably i don't honestly i don't really know how long it's gonna be it's it's late i don't feel like i'm gonna be real with you guys don't feel like staying up and doing this I, not that i don't want to put out content for you guys but i just i cannot stand the late updates hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do if you guys don't want if, if you guys oh yeah I, you know what let's just let's go bro let's just let's just do it let's just do it all right so there's an OTS 9 blueprint in the shop. You guys can use that. You guys can get it. it I can't remember how many COD points it is. Honestly, it, it, it's just, it's worth some COD points, okay? So, um, you guys can get that in the shop or you guys can do the challenge. Obviously, every mid-season weapon has the challenge that you can do to unlock it. You know, we're going to get Dark Matter for this weapon, but, you know, we're just going to keep on grinding this out and we're just going to get some slight gameplay, talk about the NBA Finals and how crazy and sucky the refs are. All right, so here we go. Apparently, this gun is insane in Warzone as well. Uh, uh, Carnage AK, or AK as you guys know, he was using it earlier in multiplayer, and he said it was insane. He said it was like the Mac 10 is in Warzone, and that's just absolutely nuts. And I'm pretty sure he was saying that it was like pre-patch, which is absolutely insane as well, because pre-patch Mac 10 in Warzone is just insanely OP and it's just oh my god i really hope it's not like that because then you're gonna have all the little sweaty sweats just running around and all that crap and all this other stuff it's just i just don't want to deal with it yeah so it seems okay for now i mean i haven't used it a ton like i said this is honestly my first game with it so you know just getting you know one or two kills so far seems like it kills pretty fast we'll see what happens once we unlock more attachments and things like that we're gonna get dark matter ultra on this as well so stay tuned for that video and uh yeah that'll be a grand old time onto the real subject of this video the nba finals the suns lost game four which to be honest i did not expect i didn't expect the suns to lose this game i've said it before i kind of expected them to win this game but i would not be shocked if they lost however i still think that they're gonna win the series in six chris paul played the worst game of his entire playoff career like in phoenix obviously he's only played in phoenix for this year this is his worst playoff game this year i'm not a suns fan by the way so like don't get this twisted i'm not a suns fan but like i can just kind of point out the facts and kind of see like what's going on this game he was turning the ball over a lot he wasn't making his shots and things like that and it was just like i don't know he just didn't seem like the chris paul that we've seen in throughout the entirety of the playoffs. it's not that big of a deal honestly it's one game that's a setback and the game was kind of close i mean it was close the entire way so in my opinion, it's really not that big of a deal. We got to talk about these refs, bro. We got to talk about the league. Got to talk about the refs and how the refs are given into the league. Also, the crap. This whole flop, like, uh, I have a beef with the NBA as far as, like, the whole flopping thing goes. I know it's turned into part of the game. Like, you see everyone do it now. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't know how some of y'all, if, if you watch the NBA, I don't know how some of y'all watch it consistently throughout the year. Because I want to punch my TV half the time watching these guys flop or go or like just do some uh, stuff when like nobody even touches them it, it's like super annoying you know what's also really annoying the fact that normally around this time the past like three nights i haven't been tired and all of a sudden the night that i have to stay up and kind of make content and things like that i'm insanely tired it's just it, that's just how it works i can't i can't stand it it's whatever though it's fine you know we're getting the new smg and all that stuff yeah bro like jay crowder man listen i respect anybody that's in the nba and you know obviously you're in the nba for a reason because you know you're i don't know like you're in the nba for a reason obviously you're one of the best players in the world like people don't just get to the nba by luck or anything like that obviously they all have skill they all know what they're doing even the worst players in the nba are better than any casual who plays street ball like like i know that brian scalabrini would school everybody in a pickup game it's just facts the white mamba you feel me but this flopping shit gotta stop bro i really hope that they enforce or put in some new rules about all this flopping thing like there has to be some type of contact in order for it to get called because some of these guys aren't even getting touched and they're acting like they're getting punched in the fucking face. 
It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I'm pretty sure Rush and CTF went live a little bit earlier. I just kind of didn't play. I didn't really start playing until the update came out so I could get the weapon because obviously that's what we're here for. Um, Honestly, there's nothing else to really talk about for me. Uh, I, 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 can't, I, I don't know. The sports thing is like super relevant now. Oh, so the cover of 2K, I saw that like everyone, I don't really play NBA 2K games. I haven't played them in a long time. Just like I have not played Madden in a long time either. But uh, apparently Candace Parker is on the cover of 2K, which like, I don't really mind. Like, I don't really care personally. I don't play the game though. But I saw a lot of people making a lot of comments about, oh, well, shouldn't the NBA 2K games have an NBA cover athlete? And it's like, well, yeah, they do. Like there's the, I think there's like the legacy edition or the highest edition, which has like Dirk, Kareem and Durant on it. And then the two covers for like i think the main or i guess the the base game are uh, i think luca and candace parker and i mean like that's cool i think everyone's just making jokes and trolling to be honest i don't really see the problem with candace parker being on the cover i'm pretty sure throughout the past couple of years you've been able to play as like wmba players in nba 2k which it's like whatever like who cares so i don't really see the problem with it i think it's a great marketing strategy and business strategy though because and that's probably why they're doing it i just like went on like a mini like tangent right there i don't really know but uh yeah so like i hope you guys do enjoy this smg it's it's super cool it's super fun the lobbies are super sweaty right now i just don't feel like dealing with this so i'm gonna get off after you know this because yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not staying up till like four in the morning trying to get a good gameplay because everyone wants to jump and sweat their balls off so um thanks so much for watching guys really do appreciate it. if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe turn on notifications like good stuff and uh yeah i'll see you guys later goodbye